It all comes down to how much those who control us really know. And if you're expecting all the answers, you may well be disappointed. Hey, Kevin Fennec here, and we've reached the conclusion to this story. Or have we? Would you stop a story at just one season? I guess not, especially if it's a good one. And Silo has been, on the whole, a very good story from the outset, with an interesting mystery in an intriguing world where we learn your every moves are constantly monitored, meaning any kind of rebellion never had a chance. It's hard to talk about this episode without thinking of the ending and its implications, but I must say, one of the things I disliked about the previous episode was explained in this one in a very satisfying way. Actually, I like the intelligence of this show. It doesn't tell you everything, but relies on the viewer's own knowledge of technology and even nature to know something isn't quite right with what we're seeing. And that's actually intentional. The display, the recording, and the tape, for example. Indeed, as well as a discussion from which we realize Bernard knows a lot, but doesn't actually know everything. And that leads us to the cliffhanger and Yes, it is a cliffhanger with massive implications for season 2, which I'm pleased to say has got greenlit. Good to know we'll learn more about this mysterious world. Indeed, well, once the writer's strike is over, I'm awarding outside three and a half paws. Hmm, not four. Well, there's a fall that stretched believability, and distances which had been established to be fast, only to feel way shorter in this finale. Little things like that. And I guess there's also the frustration that the answer we got was not entirely the one we were expecting. Oh no, that's a good thing in my book. It expands the world building both from the top of the silo and the bottom. That's one way to put it. But tell me, what did you think of this episode? Share your thoughts in the comments. Live long, and may the force be with you.